All right, look, Game Freak has made a serious grizzly bear-sized mistake, and that was giving us a whole new Ursaluna in the form of Blood Moon. This thing is insanely good, and this is actually the first match that I had trying this thing out. Happened about the day of this thing being released. Now let's go ahead and get into it. So my opponent is gonna lead off with a couple of hands. I decide to go with the Grim Snarl. Um, Ambipom lead, generally gonna come in here, fake out, kind of get a U-turn for pivot. Uh, whereas Grim Snarl here is basically built to just kind of slow things down. I'm light clay, dual screens. I'm gonna go for that reflect because honestly, Ambipom hits pretty damn hard and I don't really feel like taking too many pimp slaps today. So that fake out does do a big chunk of damage here. But at this point, I'm basically just gonna guarantee get my screen up with my prankster ability and then just kind of dip. Uh, they decide Ambipom is gonna get out of here. That thing is gonna be kind of a menace for later. Always just super fast in the back and a good revenge switch in. Uh, as they decide to go into Doug Dimbadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimbadome, I got the, <laughs> the Galarian Weezing comes in here and Reflect isn't gonna really help me out against this thing, but I am gonna go for a parting shot. Now here's the beauty of Grimmsnarl. You can get up that screen, guarantee it for eight turns with the Light Clay, and then with a parting shot, you can get momentum plus drop their attack even further. Uh, and then we're just sitting behind so much bulk over here. So I'm looking at the team matchup and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a rampage. Let's bring in uh, the Blood Moon Ursaluna. If you're unfamiliar, this is basically a specially attacking version of Ursaluna uh, that has an insane ability, an insane new move. And when it comes down to it, this is not the bear you want to piss off. So uh, Weezing does go for a little bit of steam there. Special attack, I'm not behind a light screen. So I am actually able to take it relatively nicely anyway. Uh, and at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off a Blood Moon. I I'm feeling like I could potentially set up some Calm Minds, but honestly, this Pokemon hits so hard that literally nothing wants to switch into this. And I will assure you, even a Ghost type coming in on a normal move, as you're gonna see here in a second, is not gonna have a good time. They go into the Sinistra, the uh, the new Sinistee thing. I go for that Blood Moon. It's a normal type move, but with my ability, I'm actually able to hit Ghost types with both normal and fighting moves. So. Uh, that's the key of having a brand new ability. They switch that thing in and get a Rude Awakening. So Blood Moon does take its first victim. Uh, Blood Moon actually works similar to uh, Gigaton Hammer and that you can actually use it twice in a row, which is uh, interesting. It's very powerful, but that's why this set kind of works around uh, stuff like Calm Mind and that Vacuum Wave. So now we got Mr. Potato Head. This is kind of a wall to this Mon, uh, but I also know that this thing can't really hit that hard. So what I'm gonna do is Set up a little Calm Mind action. If this bear wasn't scary enough already, you do not want to see him while his mind is calm. Now I'm saying that's plus one special attack, plus one special defense, and uh, Probo Pass is going to go for an Earth Power here. After that Calm Mind, it is it, it's not going to do anything. And uh, after some leftover damage, having a nice little picnic over here, basically sitting pretty nice. So I'm at plus one. I'm thinking I can now just go for an Earth Power, knock this thing down to sturdy. However, I completely missed the fact <laughs> this Probo Pass is holding an air balloon. I was like, wait, how the flying fuck did that thing just avoid that? And it turns out I am just blind and I didn't see that it floats in the air with its air balloon when it was switched in. I guess that the bear rampage will do that to you. But honestly, it kind of puts us in the same position. I'm not really that afraid. It does go for the Thunder Wave, probably expecting something like a Terra there, knowing that he has the sturdy to be able to take an attack. And then crippling the bear with the para well, would have put him in a better position. But they're gonna end up switching out here as I just decide to go full Thanos on their ass once again and just go for that Blood Moon. Again, nothing can switch into this thing, especially with the Calm Mind, and that is a dead-ass Doug Dimmodome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmodome. So, I'm thinking to myself, hey, it turns out Blood Moon Ursaluna is kind of the tit. It turns out 140 base power stab normal move is uh, pretty amazing. So, of course, down goes the wheezing, but the fun is just getting started. In comes Ambipom. Now, the downfall to Ursaluna is that it's slow, of course. Uh, but it does have the bulk to make up for it in that you're going to be able to get an attack off. But what it also has is access to priority in the form of Vacuum Wave. You pair that with a Terra fighting, and you've got yourself an even scarier bear than before. I'm gonna go ahead and go for that Terra. Uh, Ambipom likely is not gonna have fun with a Vacuum Wave, especially now that I'm gonna get that Stab Boost. And plus, this thing with a fist on his head looks like an idiot, but it's extremely, you know, way scarier. <laughs> So I do go for that Terra fighting, uh, and a Vacuum Wave is actually just going to be able to knock out the Ambipom. So Terra fighting on this thing goes crazy. Pair that with the Vacuum Wave priority, uh, plus the ability Mind's Eye. You're able to hit literally everything, even Ghost. So uh, that is pretty fun. That's a dead monkey, and the leftovers are bringing me near back to full. So now they're going to go into Mamoswine. A lot of the time you are going to see potential Focus Sash Mamoswine, as I wasn't able to set up my... Uh, stealth Rock, but I'm thinking regardless, I should be able to take an attack from this thing. Again, I am currently behind a Reflect, plus I'm max HP, and I know that I should be fine here. This thing does 
fire off the earthquake and that just scratches me. Honestly laughable, especially behind the reflect kind of overkill, but I can go for another blood moon and this thing is gonna reveal its focus sash, which isn't really super gonna help because again, I can just, I can basically now just go for that vacuum wave and that is why this is such an insane set for this thing. So uh, my reflect is gonna go away at this point, but I've kind of, I've done damage to the team to the point where Ursaluna is just kind of basically going for the going for the body bag at this point. Shout out to that dude Shofu. So he does go for the ice shard basically just to get some damage before it dies. But the vacuum wave is going to be able to finish this thing off. Um, and down goes the swine. And honestly, I did not expect this level of Ursaluna fuckery, but it's honestly pretty fun. And at this point, I just want to see how far this thing can go. So his last two Pokemon are going to be the Dusknoir and the uh, Probopass. So in comes Evil Stomach. That is going to be Ghostly Boy who. Ursaluna ain't afraid of no ghosts. I got a crazy, crazy eye. What's this, this thing's ability? Mind eye? I got a mind in my eye. I can see right through you and I guess punch, not right through you, but put directly punch. I don't, listen, I don't know. I can punch the fucking ghost. Moral of the story. This thing is going to go for the Terra and it actually ends up being Terra ghost. So it's not really going to, this thing's just out here double ghost and thinking maybe, just maybe, now I would punch through it. But instead... I throw the moon straight at it, and this thing actually, to my surprise, does live that with like literally one HP, and is able to go for the Poltergeist, uh, which makes my leftovers attack me. Call that leftover Taco Bell from the night before. I am gonna be able to live it because I'm the bulkiest bear on the block, and then of course you already know the deal. I can just vacuum wave this thing; it goes down, and then the final Pokemon is going to be that Probopass. So. Honestly, I had to put this one up because how often are you going to get to see a complete body bag, especially by the new dude? So, <laughs> Vacuum Wave finishes this thing off, and uh, that's going to be essentially, you know, the end of the game. Ursaluna, I have a lot of thoughts on this thing. A lot of the time, when a Pokemon like this comes out, especially even when base form Ursaluna came out, it's really strong early. Uh, metas do kind of adapt. So, I'm not going to say that this thing is, you know, perfect, but you can definitely find yourselves in situations where. You know, Blood Moon Ursaluna is going to be absolutely insane. And no matter what, with that special attack stat, ability, move, this thing is, it's always going to be something you got to look out for. So, you know, Potato Head comes in and unfortunately, it's not, it's not looking good for our little potato friend. So that's going to be the match. Had to do, had to do the full body bag Blood Moon Ursaluna to him. Let me know your thoughts on this mod. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's definitely, it's fun to, it's fun to see it do work. So thank you guys very much for watching as always. Remember to hit that like button on the video if you haven't already. It really does help out, and especially I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, I haven't been as consistent as I would like to here on YouTube lately, but uh, with the new DLC, this one coming out, and then another one coming out later this year, I'm just kind of excited to get back into back into the battles and testing out a whole bunch of new stuff. There's a lot of new a lot of new toys for us to work with, so uh, that's going to be the end of the game. Thank you guys again. I will see you next time. Peace out.